And that was Florida Congressman Byron Donald speaking with me about two weeks ago on this program uh, about what's at stake, these upcoming midterm elections, 56 days away. Let's take a look at the latest Fox News Senate power rankings. And they have five races in the top, the toss-up column, including Georgia, where college football Hall of Famer Herschel Walker is looking to unseat Democrat Raphael Warnock. Herschel Walker joins me right now. Herschel, it's great to see you. Thanks very much for being here this morning. Hey, thank you for having me on, Maria. Yeah, and we've been talking about September 11th and the great leadership of the first responders. Uh, we uh, are also looking ahead to why we need to see a change in policy, Herschel. Assess the situation today, 21 years after September 11th, and what you want to see change in terms of policy there in Georgia. Well, you know, you got to pay tribute to uh, the 9-11 victims, uh, you know, but also you saw America come together. You saw America come together because this country was, uh, you know, it was uh, on the war with uh, a country that didn't believe in us. And right now we have uh, leaders in Washington like Joe Biden doing venomous speeches that doesn't believe in American people. He tried to separate us. And I'm running against uh, Senator Warnock who's another one that says, you know, white people got to apologize for it. Whiteness, America got to apologize for it. Whiteness, you know, you're trying to separate people because you're looking for a vote. That's why I've been encouraging people, getting out campaigning, letting people know that we're not racist, bad people, that right now we got to come together. Right now, you were speaking about it earlier, China is our enemy. Russia is our enemy. And if we continue to separate people, uh, we're not going to be able to defend ourselves. You know, in the Bible, it says a house divided cannot stand. And I, that seemed to be what Raphael Warnock and Joe Biden want to do is separate the people. Well, I want to bring us together because we're good people. We can get things done. We can get it done together. And that's the reason I'm running. Well, Herschel, I'm really glad you brought up this whole racism issue because this seems to be one of the key talking points for the Democrat Party. And I uh, really look at your own race. When was the last time we saw two black men competing for a Senate seat? But that's what you've got right now, Herschel Walker versus Raphael Warnock. People have a choice. Tell us the difference and the choices that are at hand. Well, and that's, that's the thing. I don't think people really realize that this is something in history right here. And this is when you start talking about racism, when has this ever happened before? You know, you have people want to continue to put kids down. My opponent, Raphael Warnock, want to bring wokeness into our school, tell white kids in school, you know what, you, uh, you got to apologize for your whiteness. Tell black kids, you know, you've been taken advantage of. Well, that's not right. That's not right. We need leaders in Washington that's going to do the right things for our kids, that's going to do the right thing for our men and women in blue, that God going to tell our men in service that you can't uh, serve God and the military at the same time. That's who uh, the guy I'm running against have done. You know, if you continue to vote for someone like that in Washington, you're going to get the same higher taxes. You're going to get open borders. You're going to get men and women sports. You're going to get the same old things we've been getting, and right now it's not working. Even though uh, the people are saying that they're headed in the wrong direction, they're doubling down. They don't care. They don't care. They don't care about the people that elected them to office. And that's the reason I've been telling people, go to TeamHersher.com. It is time for us to take the people's seat of Georgia back and give it to myself so I can represent the people because the people are saying they want new leadership. They don't want someone that's going to continue to go to Washington and his salary is going to double, that he's going to, his income going to double because that's seen what he has done. He hasn't worried about the people. What he's worrying about is trying to get a vote. He's making a lot of money there in Washington rather than worrying about the people. Tell me about that money because they are working overtime trying to take you down, Herschel, and they've spent so much money against you. Is it up to $50 million? They've spent close to $50 million right now against me, and the race is virtually tied, which is meaning that people of Georgia are saying they want new leadership, but they're going to continue to try to buy that seat. That's what they want to do to try to buy the seat. So he has everyone trying to uh, help him out. And I want to say I'm going to continue to fight because I'm fighting for something much bigger than Herschel Walker. I'm fighting for your kids. I'm fighting for my kids. I'm fighting for this country. I'm fighting for Georgia because if we give up that seat, and I know Maya Angelou said it. When you see what, when somebody tells you who they are, believe them. 
Right now, since Raphael one not been in office, we got higher taxes, we got higher gas prices, we got the economy is going, is, is terrible. Right now, crime has gotten bad, open borders. We, it, the country has gone down. So he, he's shown us who he is right now. So it's time for us to get new leadership. It's time for us to get people that's going to fight for what is right. What is right is we're good people. What is right is we can stop this crime wave. We got to put emphasis back on our men and women in blue, whereas the guy running against called them names. He called them bullies and, uh, and uh, thugs. You know, right now, uh, the morale in our uh, men and women in blue is down. Right now, the morale in our military is down. And it's a reason because we got the wrong leadership in Washington right now. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I, it seems to me many of the issues that you're faced with there in Georgia uh, are the same that we're dealing with across the country. I mean, you mentioned uh, crime. In Atlanta, you're talking about competitive numbers to Chicago. When it comes to crime, when it comes to shootings, uh, you don't even go out walking around to the mall, to the park, because you're afraid of crime. Is part of it, do you link part of it to the wide open border? Tell me about the issues and what needs to be done regarding the border and crime. Well, one of the things that people don't know, Georgia is not a border state, but 70% of the drugs coming into this country goes through Atlanta, Georgia. And that's something that my opponent don't want to address. You don't want to address the border. Have you noticed that it seems like everyone on the left don't want to address the problem, this economy, crime. They don't want to address, uh, they don't want to address men and women's sports. They don't want to address, they're even talking about, they rather talk about whether a man can get pregnant. That's not important. Right now in crime, homicides in Atlanta is up 47% since Raphael Warnock has got in office. Rape is up over 200% since Raphael Warnock got in office. They believe on being soft on crime. He even voted to send stimulus checks to prisoners, to the Boston bomber. They want to empower criminals and keep you a prisoner in your own home. Well, that's not right. That's not fair. You know, that's the reason I said I'm going to fight for my people. My people are all the Georgians. My people are all of the, the citizens of the United States of America. I'm going to fight for them. Because we deserve to have the freedoms and liberties we were promised. And if we continue to have leadership like Joe Biden and Raphael Warnock, who's cut from the same cloth, this is what we're going to get. We're going to get weak leaders in Washington, and they've shown that they're weak. Do you believe the communities throughout Georgia understand this, Herschel? I mean, I, I, I saw under President Trump a huge support from the black and Hispanic communities. Do you see that this time around going into your midterms? Well, I do see that it's changing. I see it's changing because I think that's one of the things Joe Biden and Rafael Warnock has continued to try to do is separate us, separate us like we're totally different. The black and browns are totally different than anyone else. Well, that's not right. Uh, the black and brown, we want public safety. The black and brown want uh, school choice for our kids. We want to be able to go outside in the streets and be safe. That's one of the things I think they've forgotten about is we're the same as anyone else. But they've forgotten about that and they continue to want to call your names if you totally disagree with them. Well, it doesn't work here. I've been getting out meeting the people. And one of the things my wife told me, educate people because the media is not my friend. It is amazing that they used to love Herschel Walker and now they don't. Well, I don't care about that. What I care about is I want men, people out on the streets to be safe. I want them to be able to go to the mall without having to hire a security guard to take you through the mall. I want every white kid in, in school to know that you don't have to apologize for your skin color. I want every black kid in school to know that, you know what, you're not oppressed. They didn't, you, you can still make it in this country here. This yeah. is the only country you can make it in that is yes. giving you those freedoms that as long as you're willing to work, you can do whatever you want to do. Herschel, it's great to see you this morning. And by the way, that is my favorite Maya Angelou quote. When people show you who they are, believe them the first time. Herschel Walker, an honor to speak with you as always. Thank you, sir. Hey, thank you. And tell everyone to go to teamherschel.com and let's change and win the seat back for the Georgia people. That's who their seat belongs to. Thank you, Herschel. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilme. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.